so we shall begin okay we shall continue our uh, Vue.js project I'll open my project with Visual Studio Code and uh, run the development server using npm run yesterday we have finished with the uh, product and unit price today we will continue with the quantity so where we are we are in the table the body so we have a uh, unit price okay now we have a TD there so we don't we want to have another TD yes this td is for quantity so first of all we have to work with the width okay we have finished only the unit price now the quantity width is equal to 10 percentage yes fine so instead of that we need to have a div and for the div we should have a class of form group now we have to have an input tool input tag and the input tag is going to be quantity id equals Qty v hyphen model that's a view model that's going to be d dot I'll check Qty unit price is there in Qty okay now we need to add a d dot but we have put a space there that's not needed now the class equals form control so we have finished with the TD I'll just copy paste because it's taking a lot of time now we have a quantity now next one is discount rate so we have a this wait okay and this quantity is going to be discount rate okay so we have a discount rate okay fine now I'll copy the TD again and I'll put another that's going to be around 22 percent 12 percentage So this one is for discount weight we have put and the subtotal for the subtotal we will put a calculation so that we don't want an input tag there so it's going to be a span where we put all our code what we are going to get is let me see the top of subtotal yes we have the subtotal here I'll just copy that d dot subtotal equals We 
ਇਹ ਪੂਰੇ ਬ੍ਰੈਕਟ ਤੇ ਡੀ ਡਾਟ ਵੀ ਹੈਵ ਦ ਯੂਨਿਟ ਪ੍ਰਾਈਸ ਲੈਟਸ ਓਕੇ ਡੀ ਡਾਟ ਯੂਨਿਟ ਪ੍ਰਾਈਸ ਇਨਟੂ ਡੀ ਡਾਟ ਕੁਆਂਟੀਟੀ ओके आई विल जस्ट टाइप क्वांटिटी इनटू विल पुट अ ब्रैकेट दे 1 माइनस डी डॉट डिस्काउंट रेट दिस वन डिस्काउंट रेट divided by 100 dot to fixed to phi xcd fixed to let me check if it is working just i'll tell product 1 and unit price is 100 and the quantity is going to be 1 okay and discount price is going to be 10 percent each yes correct formula it's working fine so our d dot subtotal gets the data so we multiply unit price with quantity and reduce the discount rate and go and to a fixed means the decimal place will be fixed to two decimal places that's what the meaning of this okay we have finished our subtotal and now we'll go and find how we can put the tax rate there just i'll copy this because we need to put an input tag there so this corner right we have to change it to tax rate id is going to be tax rate and the discount rate instead of discount rate we will put oh uh, tax rate so in going to tax rate okay the road tax rate same from control that's all for the tax now i'll see whether now we need to have um tax value so this span is working fine i suppose anyway we'll put the calculation this p and span in instead of in instead of span we have the curly braces where we are going to write our calculation so to get the tax value d dot tax value this one d dot tax value equals we have to put a bracket there now instead of tax value p a r s c please float float 
d dot subtotal yes this one subtotal so we get the subtotal value now we multiply the subtotal value into d dot tax rate which we are getting here tax rate now we'll divide with 100 to fixed to let me see working fine or not we have a 10 percentage tax that's going to be tax value 9 yes that's correct now the last one is total so we have to add the calculation again so copying this div is the best idea so how will we find out the total so we have a d dot t o t a l total that's going to be Place float subtotal we have it here and we don't want this one so we will copy this plus subtotal plus what else uh, tax value we have the tax value here we have the tax value then to fixed yeah finished so let's see 99 okay fine now i will copy this and put the uh, is pan but no calculations in it but i will add a button there so button yes, of course we need to have the type type equals button so we on click we will write tomorrow but we will put the class there Just remove the span there, but inside the button, I will put the span likewise. So and minus for removing this item if we don't want to build this item we can just remove it by pressing this button that's what 
minus yes let's see yes fine so we have finished this for tomorrow we will add calculation and for adding another item so we have to select product 5 and 350 now we'll add a quantity 10% a discount and 18% a tax okay that comes to 743.40 i have to check so please check yourself if it is correct or not we will continue in the next video so these here we have uh, calculations two calculations no three calculations we have one for subtotal and uh, tax value next to for the subtotal see you in the next video